This is going to be my pictorial video on the JG Mac 10, modifying it to use either a 7.4 LiPo or 8.4 NIM battery and a PEQ box. Here you see the JG Mac 10 right out of the box. A couple of parts that I bought, 9 uh, ball uh, MP7 battery adapter and I bought an extra mag. And here it's out of the box, but that's a ICS PEQ box. First thing you're going to have to do is take the battery co cover off, which you can release by the pin in the front. You're going to have to file a notch on the opposite side so that the wire can go through. This will allow you to put the battery in, the battery adapter in, and the wire will stick out and it won't pinch or bind on it. To cut a notch in the front of the upper receiver. This is made out of plastic. I use the Dremel and I'll file to make the hole. Make it deep enough so that the wire can stick out and not be compressed or pinched when you put the front battery cover back on. Next, you're going to glue your polymer rail on the upper receiver. The upper receiver is plastic, so using a compound like Zap or whatever uh, super glue or compound that you want to use to glue the rail fast is important. You want to have a good strong seal and make sure that it doesn't come loose. The particular rail I used was rather long, so I had to cut it off. You can buy a smaller polymer rail to fit on there. The only gotcha being that you want to make sure that it's in front of the ejection port where you adjust the hop-up. Uh, you don't want to be blocking that so you can't get in there and adjust your hop-up. Uh, what I would do is put the battery inside there, form the wires around, just see how it's going to fit in. I use the Tenergy 7.4 1300 mAh 25C battery and it fit perfectly. Next I mounted the battery, half the bat, uh, battery box on there and marked where the wire would actually come up through. I took a larger bit and drilled a hole through that it would allow the Tamiya connector to go through and to actually rest comfortably without pinching the wires. I was then able to fold everything inside and put the cover back on. Here we see the finished product. Um, very nice, low profile, doesn't stick out from the gun as you can tell in this shot. Gives you a decent rate of fire, 12.3, uh, and I was running 0.25s and getting 267, 265, 267. Uh, very easy mod to do, you take your time, everything should work out fine for it. The only thing that I found is if you go any higher than a 7.4 or a 9.6, you're going to go with too high of a rate of fire, and I don't think it's going to work going to not feed right. Hope you enjoyed the video and have a good day. What the fuck was that?